Yeah, welcome to my channel. Let's discuss transpose of a matrix and some other uh, subtopics in matrix. If you have not watched other uh, topics in matrix, like the introduction to matrix and um, scalar multiplication of matrix, please check it in my videos below. Okay, now let's go over to transpose of a matrix. To get the transpose of a matrix, what is transpose of a matrix? That is the matrix, the new matrix you form when you change the row of a of a matrix to its column example let's start with an example so that you will understand if a is equal to let's say two three six nine eight five two one eight okay and you are asked to find the a transpose the a transpose written as this is equal to now all you need to do is to interchange your row to your column Notice that 292 are written horizontally. They are the first row. So you are going to turn it vertically to form the second, the first column. Because horizontal representation is the first row. The vertical representation is the second row. Second is the column. So we are going to turn 292 that was horizontally to vertically. The same thing with 381. We are going to write it vertically. The same thing is 658, we are going to write it vertically. You notice that this is what you are going to get as your result. This becomes your A transpose. Very easy, right? Let's do another example so that you will understand this perfectly well. If you have A to be equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, okay? This is a matrix. To find A transpose, your A transpose is equal to, this 2, 3 is your first row. Turn it to your first column, vertically. This 4, 5 is your second row. Turn it to your second column, vertically. This 6, 8 is your third row. Turn it to your third column, vertically. So this becomes your answer. It's very easy, I told you. Now, one more example before we go into the next subtopic which is what? Determinant of a matrix. Okay. Now, let's do a two by two. If you have your A to be equal to one, five, six, seven, okay? And you're asked to find determinant of A. This is very easy. A transpose, sorry, not A determinant. A transpose is equal to, you know that one, five was initially, is your first row here. Turn it as your first column. 6, 7 is your first, is your second row. Turn it as your second column. And this becomes your answer. Very simple. Let's get to determinant of a matrix. We will start with what? A 2 by 2. Determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. Now, determinant of a matrix is very easy to get. Okay? Determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. We start with 2 by 2 because it is different from the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. Well, let's discuss determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. Now, to get determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix is easy. For example, if A is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, we have this. Now, the determinant of it is equal to, okay, let me reduce this to like 2. Okay, I have my reason. Now, the determinant of A, written as this, is equal to, when you look at a 2 by 2 matrix, it has two diagonals. The leading diagonal is the one that is in the right, the, the right diagonal. This one you are seeing, this 2 and 8, they are the leading diagonal. So, to get the determinant of this matrix, you first of all, multiply your leading diagonal, 2 times 8. Okay, minus... Then 2 times 6, the other diagonal, 2 times 6. So you, you will have this as your result. 2 times 8 is going to give us 16. You have 16 minus 2 times 6 will give you 12. And your result becomes 4. Very easy. That is your determinant. Yes, that is the determinant of your A. Nothing more. Let's give another example of a 2 by 2 matrix. If we have A, to be equal to, it must not be A, it can be B, okay? <laughs> if we have A, A to be equal to 6, 3, 9, 2, okay? And we are asked to find A determinant or determinant of A. 
all you need to do is this. You open your bracket. You multiply your leading diagonal first. So this is going to be 6 times 2, the leading diagonal. Okay? Minus this one, 3 times 9. 3 times 9. So this is equal to 6 times 2 will give you what? 12. Minus 3 times 9 will give you 27. Now this is equal to 12 minus 27 is going to be minus 15. And this becomes your answer. Okay? All right. What if you are told to find, this is your A, right? What if you are told to find the determinant of A transpose? Determinant of A transpose. How do you do that? That means you need to get your A transpose first before you find its determinant. Now, how do we do it? A transpose is what? This 6, 3 that is written horizontally, we will write it vertically. That is as a column. We represent it as a column. Then this second one that is represented as the second row, we now represent it as the second column. Now, this is our A transpose. We are asked to find what? Determinant of A transpose. This one is our A transpose. Now, determinant of A transpose is going to be equal to, we are going to now find the determinant of this. All right? Now, how do we go about it? This is our leading diagonal. So it's going to be 6 times 2. 6 times 2 minus 9 times 3. 9 times 3. So you are going to have 6 times 2 will give you 12. Minus 9 times 3 will give you 27. So 12 minus 27 is going to give you minus 15. Now, can you see something? Did you notice anything? Notice that the determinant of A, determinant of A, is equal to determinant of A transpose. We got determinant of A, which is this, as minus 15. And we got determinant of A transpose, which is this, as minus 15. So that means that the determinant of A matrix is also equal to the determinant of what? It's transpose. All right. Let's go ahead and solve one more example before we go into another subtopic, okay? Let's do this final example before we go into multiplication of a matrix. Example, they said if A is equal to 4265, 4265, you are asked to find A, determinant of A. And this is equal to, like I said, you multiply the diagonal, the leading diagonal first. So it's going to be 4 times 5. 4 times 5 minus, you multiply the other one, 2 times 6. 2 times 6. So you are going to have 20 minus 12, which will give you what? 8. And this becomes your answer. Very easy, right? Okay, let's go into one of the most tactical parts of matrices. That is multiplication of a matrix. Let's do that. Okay, let's discuss multiplication of matrices. For you to multiply two matrices together, you have to put, keep this in mind, that the column of that matrix, the first matrix, must be equal to, to the row of the second matrix. The column of the first must be equal to the, to the row. If you, uh, if you don't know what a row is or a column is, check one of my videos, Tanned Introduction to Matrices, for you to understand that, okay? So what does that mean? Let's start with an example. An example, you are asked to multiply together or to simplify. You have 10, 5, and 2 multiplied by, this dot is multiplication sign, 1, 3, 6. Now, based on what we are told, we are told that before you can be able to multiply two matrices together, that the number of columns here should be equal to the number of rows here, right? Okay, let's check. How many columns do we have here? We have one, two, three. One, two, three. Three columns. And how many rows do we have here? We have one, two, three. So you notice that the number of columns here is equal to the number of rows here. So that means that two of them can be multiplied together. Now, for you to multiply two matrices together, you go row against column, row against column. What does that mean? This 10 and this one will go, 
the first we go to the first, the second we go to the second, the third we go to the third. So you are multiplying it like this and like this. Okay? So, and whenever you multiply one row and one column, row means the horizontal representation. Okay? This row, 10, 5 to represent one row. 1, 3, 6, that is vertical, represents one column. So whenever you multiply one row and one column, you are going to get a single number. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. You are going to notice that solution, this force will multiply this force. So you are going to have 10 times 1 plus this second will multiply this second, 5 times 3, plus this third will multiply this third, 2 times 6. Do you understand? First against first, second and second, third and third. Now this is equal to 10 times 1 is 10. Plus 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 times 6 is 12. So you are going to have 10 plus 12 will give you 25. 25 plus 12 is going to give you 37. And this becomes your answer. You will notice that when you multiply a row and a column, you are going to get one single answer. All right, we are going to stop here for today. Check my next video for continuation of this. Okay, and other uh, subtopics. If this is the first time you are joining me, please click the subscription button and help me to like, comment, and share so that it will get to those students that really need it for their exam. Thank you so much for watching. Do have a great day. Bye.